Hi, I'm Brady with the ComEd Energy Efficiency Program. This video is an overview of our online application, designed for you, our customers, contractors, and energy efficiency service providers. We have streamlined our application process with this online portal to be more accurate and consistent, as well as to keep you better informed about your submissions to the program. This application is based on your feedback. We welcome any of your ideas for improving the application through this contact link. If you get stuck or have any questions during the process, you can also click on the Frequently Asked Questions button at the top of the page. The online application requires the same information as our previous printed and PDF versions. With the online application, you have the ability to stop in the middle of your work, save, create new applications based on historical work, and monitor the progress of all your applications submitted. Here's how the process works. At the bottom of this homepage, how to apply can help you determine whether or not your project is eligible. Select Create Application and you'll be guided step by step. Enter your customer's information, your project information, details about the equipment and measures you'll be installing, contact information for your energy efficiency service provider, your preferences for receiving payment, and then upload all of your documents for your project. At the end of those six steps, you'll be able to review all the information you've provided and then receive a copy for signature. If this is the first time you've used this application tool, you'll need to create an account. Click Sign In and follow the prompts for creating an account. If you already have an account, enter your username and password. Now, we are signed in as Jane Doe, an energy efficiency service provider. Let's go through the process and enter an application. We are creating a new application, so we begin by selecting Create Application. We are now on the first screen showing all information about the customer who will actually be performing the project. You need to list the company name and the most knowledgeable contact person for the project. Now find the ComEd account number for the most recent ComEd bill. A valid email address is needed for both the customer and the service provider. For signing the application, you have the option of a digital signature either on a laptop, tablet, or phone, or a manual signature you must print and then upload the signed document. Click here for a digital signature, then Save and Next, which will take us to details about this specific project. Enter an estimated completion date. Next, if you don't have an exact cost of your project, please give us a good estimate. Be aware that there are incentive caps based on your project cost, so be sure to give as accurate an estimate as possible. On the Equipment screen, you can search for the relevant measures for your project. Once you have found the correct measures, you can review the requirements for each measure and select which measures to add to your application. On the next screen, you can enter the details for those measures. Bonuses may be available for certain measures and can be selected on this screen. As a customer, EESP, or contractor, there are Illinois Commerce Commission rules that you should be aware of when applying for a ComEd energy efficiency incentive. Of note, ComEd cannot issue certain energy efficiency incentives or rebates unless it is provided with certification that measures were self-installed by the ComEd customer or evidence that applicable measures were installed by an installer certified with the Illinois Commerce Commission. For more information about ICC certification rules and a list of eligible installers, please visit the Illinois Commerce Commission website at icc.illinois.gov. You must acknowledge these legislative requirements when submitting an application and also identify how your project will be installed. These fields are mandatory, so please be sure to fill out the required information. If you are working with a contractor or a ComEd energy efficiency service provider, please provide their information here. If you are signed in as an energy efficiency service provider, as we are right now, your information will be preloaded into this section for you. If you want to have someone else be the point of contact for a given project, you can update that here. Once you've entered all that information, click Save and Next. For payment, you can have the check payable to the customer or the energy efficiency service provider. Only approved service providers are able to receive incentives on behalf of their customers. In order to submit our application, 
some required documents must be uploaded. All required documents are indicated with a red asterisk. Files can be searched and brought in, or you can drag and drop files. Now that all our documents are in, we'll review our application to make sure everything is accurate. On this screen, you can see every field that we've provided. Review this information, and if you see any errors, you can go back and edit those fields. If you have any specific requests for your application, you can provide it here in the comments. Almost finished. The last step in submitting your pre-application is getting a signature from the customer. On the Customer Information screen, we had selected a digital signature for this project. Your customer will have received an email asking them to provide a digital signature, and the contractor will receive a copy as well. You can tell your application is still waiting for a customer signature by going into your My Applications screen and seeing the project listed as Pre-App Awaiting Signature. This is the email that your customer received. They can review the information that was submitted as well as click on this link. The link is also accessible via mobile, so the review and signature can be done on a phone or tablet. All areas requiring a signature will be marked with a red flag, and the application will tell you how many signatures you have remaining before you've completed the document. You should ask your customer to carefully review the entire document, all contact information, and to whom the incentive is being paid. This contains our terms and conditions, as well as all the information we just provided in the online portal. Your customer can either sign with their mouse or simply by typing. Their title, printed name, and date are required. In your dashboard screen, you'll be able to see this project listed based on its project number as a simple way to track your projects. If we go back into the portal and go to the My Application screen, we now see that numbered application showing the status pre-app submitted. That means it's now in the hands of the program team for review. As it moves through the review process, this status will be updated. You'll be in the loop if we're waiting for more information from you, or if we have any questions. Once your application is approved, you will be notified via email. This approval will show your reservation end date and the amount of the reserved incentive. You are now able to begin your project. Once your installation is complete, you can sign into the portal and go to your application list under My Applications. Then, go to the respective project and initiate your final application. All the information you had entered on the pre-application is automatically inserted into your final application. Now we're just verifying that the information is accurate. You do have to select again how you would like your final application to be signed, digital or manual. Your measures are automatically carried over from your pre-application, but if there were any changes discovered between the pre-application and what was actually completed, you can update those measures here, as well as update the bonus amount. With no changes in our project, we'll click Save and Next. The payment information is even more important on the final application. Whatever selection is made here will be how the project is paid, so the selections are either for the approved energy efficiency service provider to receive the check, or the customer. Once that information has been verified, click Save and Next. The only new document that is required for your final application is your project invoice. Invoices need to show enough detail to see the number of products, the type of products that were installed, who did the install, what the date was, and what the address was for this particular project. Now that all documents are in, we're ready to do our final review. Once everything is reviewed, we'll go to the bottom of the screen to add any comments that we think may be necessary and then submit our application. The digital signature process is the same for both the pre and final applications. Under My Applications in the portal, we can now see that our final application has been submitted. When your final application is approved, you and the customer will receive an email letting you know the final incentive amount that was paid and that the check has been sent. The ComEd Energy Efficiency Program team wants this application process to work well for you so you can plan and complete more projects. Please send us your feedback. Thank you.